Hi, this is Alberto Lombardi, welcome to my channel. This is guitar jam number 8 and it's called Somewhere Near. It's a nice ballad. So I will leave you the backing track for you to play over in just a second, but first let me give you some advice on what scales to use. If you decide to subscribe, thank you, but remember to activate notifications with a little bell or YouTube will not tell you when I upload new videos. So here we go. The progression is pretty easy, it's all in E major, but it changes a bit during the chorus, at the end of the chorus. The chords of the A section, the verse, are a major 6th to A major, then it goes to C sharp minor 11 to C sharp minor. So pretty easy until here, you can just play E major pentatonic or C sharp minor pentatonic, which is the same thing, or you can play just the E major scale. And you repeat this twice. Then we have the B section, which is still E major, so you can still play the E major scale and the E major pentatonic up to a certain point, which is, let me guide you through the chords, F sharp minor 7 to B9 to E major 7, C sharp minor, again F sharp minor, B9, E major without going to the C sharp minor, but doesn't change the scales you're using. Then we go to F sharp minor, B9 again, and here you go to C diminished. This is basically a substitution for G sharp. It's the five chord of C sharp minor. So here you can still play the C sharp minor pentatonic, or if you want something more interesting, you can play C sharp harmonic minor. Which is a classical sounding scale, but it's just a short measure. So then we go again to C sharp minor. Here, when we go to A minor, we're basically switching from E major harmony to E minor harmony. This is called modal interchange. So we're switching from the E major scale to the E minor scale. So we go from to This is something that is very common in modern music. The Beatles used it all the time. When we go then to B7 sharp 5, we can actually keep on playing E minor scale, but we have to transform it from an E minor Aeolian scale to an E harmonic minor. So we basically change from to and then we go again into E major when we switch to the E major chord at the end. Okay, that's it. I will leave the chart with the chords and the scales on screen while the backing track rolls. Thanks again, my name is Alberto Lombardi, leave a thumbs up and a comment if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications bell. Ciao!